In this lesson, we look at the elements of the CIA security triad based on the CISSP CBK and basic controls needed to achieve CIA objectives. According to the CISSP CBK reference, Information Security Administrative, Physical, and Logical Controls can be evaluated based on how well they affect confidentiality, integrity, and availability, the CIA, of information resources. Confidentiality controls determine who can see information. Confidentiality requirements depend on statutes, regulations, and management's appetite for risk. Confidentiality controls must address identity management, least privilege, and appropriate authorization. Least privilege is a controls objective that affects both confidentiality and integrity. It seeks to ensure that entities can only see needed information and only perform actions on the information needed to perform business tasks. The objective of integrity controls is to ensure no one makes unauthorized changes to data. This is also affected by statutes like the HIPAA. Integrity controls include least privilege that only allows explicitly allowed tasks. Hashing helps ensure a file has not changed. Auditing and logging are important controls across both confidentiality and integrity to ensure that only the behaviors expected are those that we are actually seeing. Separation of duties is a control type you will often see. It helps prevent fraud and mistakes by ensuring that no one person can perform all tasks required to perform a critical business process. Availability controls help ensure data is available to people and processes when and where required. Related controls include elimination of single points of failure through redundancy, performing backups, and effective access control management to ensure users can access what they need when they need it. Access controls are increasingly limited by attributes such as user and device location, time and day of access, resource accessed, and other conditions. Business continuity planning is critical to ensuring availability while also impacting confidentiality and integrity. It also helps design teams to ensure redundancy and recovery processes commensurate with a system's risk. A subset of business continuity is disaster recovery. Finally, authorization provides many of the control types we've discussed. Once an identity proves it is who it says it is via authentication, authorization processes for each resource kick in. Authorization determines if an identity can access a resource and what it can see or do with that resource. Well, that's it for this lesson. If you have questions, please ask. And until next time, be careful what you click.